solve some problems on basic operations and signals here i have taken few examples and sketch the following signals first one is x of t is equal to u of t minus u of t minus 2 second one is x of t is equal to minus of u of t plus 3 plus 2 into u of t plus 1 minus 2 into u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 3 third one is x of t is equal to r of t plus 1 minus r of t plus r of t minus 1 here in these signals shifting operation is there and addition operations are there and we have two basic signals here u of t is a unit step function and r of t is the ramp function first problem is that is x of t is equal to we have that is u of t minus of u of t minus 2 first we need to sketch each signal what is u of t we know that u of t is equal to 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 when t is when t is less than 0 u of t is equal to 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 when t is less than 0 this signal is represented graphically like this okay this is the t this is 0 its value is 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0 what is u of t minus 2 here we should apply the shifting operation u of t is shifted to the right hand side by two units that is what is u of t is starting from 0 when I shift it to the right hand side by two units what is there at 0 it comes at 2 okay it goes like this okay this is t this is the u of t minus 2 next I need to subtract this signal from this signal that is u of t minus u of t minus 2. See 0 to 2 we do not have the second signal that means this minus 0 it will be you will get the same signal from 2 from 2 this value is 1 and this value is also 1 1 minus 1 will become 0 that means the resulting signal here it is the resulting signal is 0 to 2 we have only one first signal that is u of t 0 to 2 at 2 both are ones and subtract it it will become 0 so you will get the only from 0 to 2 you will get the signal this is the your x of t signal okay next second one is second one is x of t is equal to x of t is equal to uh -huh, that is minus of u of t plus 3 plus 2 into u of t plus 1 minus 2 into u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 3 here let us take individual signals minus of u of t plus 3 2 into u of t plus 1 minus 2 into u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 3 okay I'll take this as x1 of t, x2 of t, x3 of t, and x4 of t. Okay, this is the x1 of t. This is the x1 of t. I'll take this as an x2 of t. This is the x3 of t. And this is the x4 of t. Draw in the, each individual signals, then add up. That is, x1 of t is given by, that is, u minus of u of t plus 3 first let us take the u of t plus 3 what is u of t plus 3 we know that u of t is we know that u of t is definition is its value is 1 from 0 to infinity okay this is the definition of u of t that is we know the definition of u of t is its value is 1 when t is when t is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 when t is less than 0. This is the definition of u of t. What is u of t plus 3? u of t plus 3 is signal is shifted to the left hand side by signal is shifted to the left hand side by 3 units. That means the same signal which is there at 0 it's there at 0 it starts at minus 3. Okay. This is the u of t plus 3. 0 minus 3 this value is 1 this is the u of 
t plus 3. What is minus of u of t? In outside it is multiplied by negative sign. That is amplitude scaling. When this positive amplitude is multiplied by negative sign, then it will become minus 1. That means that is the same signal This is the x1 of t, where x1 of t is equal to minus of u of t plus 3. This is at minus 3, this value will become minus 1. Okay, this is x1 of t. Then what is x2 of t? u of x1 of t is x1 of t we have that is plus 2 into u of t plus 1. The first I should shift the signal to the left hand side to 1 unit, then multiply it by its amplitude value. That is u of t plus 1 is u of t plus 1 is shift the signal to the left hand side by 1 unit shift the signal to the left hand side by 1 unit this will become u of t plus 1 this is the u of t plus 1 ok then multiply this by that is amplitude scaling one into two is will become two this is the two into u of t plus one this is nothing but x2 of t okay we got x1 of t and I got the x2 of t third one is minus two into u of t minus one u of t minus 1 is shift the signal to the right hand side by 1 unit. This is t, this is the 1, this is the u of t minus 1. Multiply this by minus 2, that is amplitude scaling. You will get a signal like this. This is the minus 2 into u of t minus 1 that is nothing but x3 of t this is the minus 2 this value is plus 1 this is the t this is the x3 of t next x4 of t is that is u of t minus 3 u of t minus 3 it starts from 3 and set plus infinity. Okay, this is the t and this is the u of t minus 3 that is nothing but x4 of t. Okay, now I should add this x1, x2, x3 and x4 here. Okay. I will add these signals that is final x of t is, is given by x1 of t plus x2 of t plus x3 of t. See x1 of t starts from minus 3, x2 of t starts from minus 1, x3 of t starts from plus 1, x3 of t starts from 3 here. Now let us see from see minus less than minus 3 we do not have any signals here, we do not have any signals. Now what I should do here is start from minus 3 here, minus 3 to minus 2, minus 3 to minus 2, we do not have these 3 signals, that means only this signal is existing, its value is minus 1, that means minus 3, minus 3 to, we mark it here minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3, okay, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 3 to minus 1, we have only this signal, first signal that is minus, its value is minus 1, it will be like this, minus 3 to minus 1, minus 1, this value is plus 2, this value is minus 1, minus 1 to 0, till my plus 1 we do not have these two signals, we can take that minus 1 to plus 1, its value is 2, its value is minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 will become plus 1 it goes to the plus 1 
and that stays still 1 because third signal starts at 1. Next, 1 this signal uh, after that all three all four signals that is uh, till 3 these three signals are existing that is after 1 this value is minus 2 this value is plus 2 this value is minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 it will become 0 you get the minus 1 at minus at plus 1 it will become minus 1 that stays till 3 this is 2 this is still what happens at 3 here? At 3, this value is this value is 1, 1, minus 2, plus 2, minus 1. That means it becomes 0. Okay. This is the final answer. Okay. This completes the problem. Okay. Next. We have third problem. Third problem is that is x of t is it is related to the ram function x of t is equal to how that is r of t plus 1 minus r of t plus r of t minus 1 again you take this as an x1 of t this is x2 of t this is x3 of t this is the x1 of t this is the x2 of t Okay, and this is the x3 of t. What is x1 of t? R x1 of t is equal to I have taken this as an r of t plus 1. That is what is r of t? We know that r of t is as per the definition, this value is t when t is greater than or equal to 0. 0. This is the r of t. That is r of t is equal to t when t is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 when t is less than 0. Okay, This is the r of t. What is r of t plus 1? Signal which should be shifted to the left hand side by 1 unit. Okay? At 0 its value is 0. At 1 its value is 1. At 2 its value is it increases with the time. It is 2 minutes. What is r of t plus 1? r of t plus 1 is this is t. This starts at minus 1. This is 0. This is minus 1. At 0, its value is 1. At 1, its value is 2. At 2, its value is it goes like 2, its value is this is the x1 of t. Next, x2 of t is minus of r of t. You know this is r of t. Minus of r of t means what? Just we should change its amplitude as negative. First amplitude will become negative amplitude. This is t. This is 0. This is the minus of r of t. At 1 its value is minus 1. At 2 its value is minus 2. It goes like this. What is r of t minus 1? That is x3 of t. x3 of t is r of t minus 1. That means r of t, this is r of t. r of t minus 1 is, it is shifted to the right hand side by 1 value. Shift to the right hand side by 1 value. This is the of t minus 1. That is the x3 of t. This is 0. This value is 1. At 1 its value is 0. 2 its value is 1. It goes like this. Okay. Now I should add up x1, x2 and x3. Okay. This is the x2 of t. Okay. To add these three signals, This is t. This is the final x that is x of t. Start from minus 1 because less than minus 1, these three signals does not exist. Minus 1 to 0, only this signal is existing. 
these two does not exist that's why minus 1 to 0 this signal plus 0 plus 0 we will get the same signal that is minus 1 to 0 we have this that is minus 1 to 0 only one signal is existing its value is 1 0 to 1 you check it 0 to 1 it is it it is 1.1 1.2 1.3 it goes up to plus 2 0 to 1 you have minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3 it goes up to minus 1. At 1 what happens? At 1 this value is plus 2 and this value is minus 1. This signal does not exist 0 to 1. That means what happens here is at 1 its value is minus 1 at 1 here its value is plus 2. That means 2 minus 1 answer will become 1. Even if you take in the midpoint also suppose if we take a t is equal to 0 0.5 at 0 0.5 its value is 1.5 this value is minus 0.5 and add up a little bit more 1. That means still 1, it remains constant, its value is 1. Okay. When if you add till infinity, these two signals, answer is 1. After 1, what happens? Only this signal is, addition of these two signal value is 1, and that is added with this signal. After 1, this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, reaches 1. At 2, what happens? At 2, at 2, this value is 1 and this value is addition of these two signal value is 1. 1 plus 1 it reaches to 2. That means signal goes like this. Its value is at 2, its value is 2. At 3, its value is 3. This is how the signal looks. Addition of these three signals. Okay. This completes the three problems. So that is sketching of the signals.